Hi, this is Eva for Once Upon a Timeline, and today I'm going to talk about brand new changes to the human spinal column and surrounding regions. Okay, I saw this about 20 days ago, so it's not brand, brand new, maybe even a few more days than 20 days ago. Um, I was looking at uh, the spinal column here. The first thing I noticed were these weird loops. If you look at these loops right here, you can see that there's kind of a, uh, an, it looks like a, almost like to hold a necklace or something in here. I have not seen that before. I'm not sure. I remember there were some spikes, but I don't remember there being these closed lo loops here. Uh, when these changes first started, there really wasn't a huge difference between the different vertebrae, but they're very much highly specializing now. So I kind of was curious what's in here, and I checked it out, and apparently there's this artery that goes through there, right vertebral, vertebral artery, and then up here it's calling it basilar artery. I, I'm not familiar with that one. <clears throat> uh, I have to say that I didn't know all the arteries, so um, I can't really swear on that one. But anyway, an artery now snakes through, I assume on both sides, right through there. Okay, some other changes I've noticed. When you go back here, the uh, spines coming off the vertebrae split right here. It was not the case before. You can see this top one is highly specialized now. It uh, looks very different than the others, but I've uh, mentioned that one before. But I have not seen these splits here where they're dividing into like a, a little fork right there. Um, you can see it starts right here above the collarbone is where that's going on right now. Uh, another thing I've noticed, I'm not sure when this snuck up, but um, so the uh, rib cage comes around and then these spines on the back of the vertebrae kind of fit onto there. So now the rib cage is connected over here and then it's got additional support over here. You can see that the uh, vertebrae have kind of formed these little bumps to kind of fit right on there and um, the uh, rib cage here takes a sharp turn right there. Uh, ribs used to be a fairly smooth forming arc. Uh, looks like there's kind of a, in a right turn elbow pattern right there, uh, at least on that top one. Uh, it's less, less pronounced on these lower ones, but, but yeah, really kind of a sharp turn there. That, that's kind of a weird look. I do not remember that. Um, you can see on this 3D image the structures I was talking about a few months ago where this structure, when, when I started watching this about two years ago, this structure was just kind of a ridge. And then a couple months ago, it, it snaked around to the front here, and now the collarbone attaches to it. You can really see um, how much this has changed because this used to attach down in here. And this thing here, I don't know what's going to become of that, but there is a lot of musculature attachment in there. So that might be its purpose. I'm kind of suspicious, though, what this little nub is going to do because that's fairly new and it seems to have been growing over the last few months since I first mentioned it. All right, so what else do we have? Um, oh, down lower. I've got a little list here so I don't forget everything. All right, there's one other smaller change I've noticed to these lower vertebrae. Uh, I don't remember these, just little spikes right here. You can kind of see that there's like just, I'm not sure what's going to happen with these. They're pretty small right now. It looks like all the ones below the rib cage. I'm going to zoom in really good. These little spikes, I don't know what's going to become of these but I don't remember them being there last time I looked at this. It's been uh, at least a few months since I really looked at the rib cage and the vertebrae, so um, it's very interesting. Look at how the vertebrae here, one fits right into the other. 
Long ago, my what I remember for the vertebrae was just this part. It did not have all this interconnection. Uh, they were just uh, discs uh, with little padding in between them. They were smaller than the current ones. Uh, so this part looks very familiar, but all of this, you know, 10 years ago, that was not like that at all. Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. Looks like there's a little bit of cartilage on the end of each of these ribs. I can't say if that was there or not before, but right, zoom out a little bit. Go around the back. One of the things I was talking about before is the how these uh, angle down so much before. That's kind of an older ME, but I don't remember them angling down like that at all. All right, there was one other thing um, over here on the hand region. Whoops, not that much. This is something that's changed right here. Let's see if I can straighten this out. Uh, it's getting really bumpy in here where the hand, uh, where this bone attaches down to the hand. And also this little spike here um, on the end of this bone, I do not remember it being like that. So it's getting more specialized in here. It's just to be more of a normal bone shape, but it, now it's becoming like a sucker mouth shape with little indents all over it. So that's uh, one other thing I've noticed just recently. So yeah, more changes to the human body. Big surprise. There's actually been a lot going on lately. Um, with, I just did a video on the musculature, and now I'm looking at the bone. Uh, interesting, because before I just I saw some new muscles, but I don't know if I just wasn't watching, but there just looks like there's a ton all of a sudden. So anyway, keep your eye on the anatomy, forever changing. Um, I don't know when, if, or if it's going to stop, but it is truly amazing. This is Eva signing off for Once Upon a Timeline. Mm -hmm.